uh what up my dudes i'm doing all today welcome to the channel to vlogs welcome 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 i know it's been a long time i know the last time i vlogged and posted it was like a while back sorry for that i was waiting for parts i was waiting for a day off i was waiting for time so i can finally do the hard work for the miata we're gonna do a clutch swap my clutch just burned out all of a sudden it doesn't stick the gears no more that's why this car is all dirty and dusty because i haven't used this car whatsoever in a long time because i've been using the truck for work using everything with the truck because this miata is gone so we have it um it's just safety woods but we have it on um tire jacks you guys can see my pops and i are about to put in some work we didn't have the right tools either so we have to borrow this tool we have to rent some tools that's just disaster but we're gonna get it done today hopefully it might be a two-day job hopefully that we get it done today the clutch that i've ordered is a stage one racing clutch which is from flying miata link will be down in the description down below this is it i haven't seen it so i'll see it with you guys this is the clutch that we ordered from Flying Miata, the stage one racing clutch, my dudes. I haven't seen it, so let's see it. Ooh, they give us everything. Ooh. Don't know what that is. That's a guy that draws very. But my dad knows what it is. Uh, oh, they gave us instructions? Yeah, that's cool. It, of how to do it. And this is the clutch, my dudes. Whoa. Awesome. Oh, I like the color. It's like purple, pink. The pressure plate. Take the color a bit. And I dropped the whole clutch on my foot. This is cool. Even though we're not going to see this at all. But nice little detail. They paint it. They mark it for us too. This is nice from Fine Miata. Appreciate it. Uh, like I said, it'll be down in the description down below, my dudes. If you guys are curious. But... I got stage one. The reason behind it is because my clutch went out. So instead of buying a stock clutch, I might as well get ready. So I want to put the turbo in. This will, this clutch is supposed to handle the horsepower from the turbo. So we should be all good. So we're going to jump into this. We're going to take out the transmission, pull it back, get the old clutch, and then put it back inside. I wasn't going to do this because it's cold outside. And also, it's time consuming. And also, it's hard work. And also, we do not have the proper tools uh for example if we had a lift it'll be way easier so we'll be tight on space but every shop i went around to at least four different shops three shops i forgot but the price range was 600 between 800 that was the price range for them to do it i told them i had the clutch i just wanted the labor to be done and that's what they quote me as so it was pretty expensive and i was like i'm not gonna pay that much if i know my dad and I can do is just like I said, it's gonna be time consuming and hard work. So we're gonna jump on this and hopefully the clutch actually works. And it is the issue is the clutch. I'm guessing it is a clutch because when I'm in first gear at a stoplight, the car starts to die. My foot's all the way down to the clutch. It's not grabbing it anymore. So might as well just change it out. And that's where we're at right now. All right, so my dad told me before we can start doing anything under the car, we gotta start working inside the car. So I gotta take off. Obviously, I took off the whole glove apartment, which is right here. All my stuff is still in here. Um, it's missing a lot of screws, but basically, there's a screw here, a screw on the opposite side, and then there's one in the middle that's supposed to be right here where your ashtray goes. You just remove the ashtray, and then the screw should be right there, which I don't have. And then there should be four inside here. See, there's one right there. Sorry about the mess, my dudes. Those will be four of them. I did not have that, so this came off really easy. I actually, actually like how it looks, just like this. But anyways, so if you guys can know what I'm talking about, just pop this and see that they're right there. One, two, and I think the other one on the other side. And that will drop from holding the clutch. I'm holding the transmission. And then we'll start working under. But that's what we got so far, starting in the inside. And then that will be dropped, because that holds the transmission as well. So that little, like that. The, the the shifter holds the transmission and then once that's dropped then we unbolt the transmission and we'll start working under the car which you don't have that much space whatsoever see my dad's already going under there find out the right tools so i took off the shifter you guys can see those bolts work correct and then from over here you just pop it up and it just comes out easily we have it with the rag right now so it won't get dirty then we move on underneath the car now we're gonna go underneath the car i'm gonna show you guys what we're working with more or less we got so much space 
you guys can see down here. All right, first things first. Oil pans right there. Oh, sorry, you guys are kind of crooked. Oil pans right there. This is the transmission right here, all this. So starting from right here where this bolts off that my dad took off. And it ends right here. It's the transmission. So here is the transmission. To that bolt off right there, the transmission. So in order to get the transmission off, we gotta get it and we're gonna slide it backwards. In order to slide it backwards, we have to take it off the, the dry line, which is back there, which connects to these two tires that make these tires spin. That's how an engine works, more or less. So now that we're looking at it, you might have to take off these bolts as well. This one maybe. And then down there, maybe. In order to drop the transmission as an angle, and then we have the jack right there, because we're gonna bring in the jack right here to hold transmission while we do the rest. Because once, once the bolts are off, it's gonna drop and make a mess. That's where we are right now. And then we gotta take off these wires. There's right here. Oh, you guys can't see that because there's no light. Right there, there's wires. So we gotta take off these as well too. Or unplug them. They're all right here. Oh, beautiful. So that's what we're looking at right now, my dudes. And they go all the way down there. A lot of bolts and a lot of strength and a lot of muscle to drop this because we're in a tight spot and it's really hard to do this, but we'll get it done. All right, my dudes. Let's start get to work and I'll show you guys the process. Like always, we have to go to Harbor Freight to buy more tools that we didn't have. An extension, we bought batteries for flashlights and adapters. Uh, let me show you guys what we have so far underneath the car. So, we took off the, the wire harness, you guys can see. And then over here, this is the negative that goes right here to the ground. So we took that off. And then we haven't took off the driving shaft yet, which is right here. Where the, where the black thing's pointing at. We left the bolts in right there for the meantime. So that's perfect. So we haven't dropped it yet. And then over here, over here we're looking at the transmission. Um, we started taking off more bolts and we realized that we need that extender to get a couple of bolts that are like up there in the top. Um, the only issue is that the muffler, this muffler right here, is actually connected to one of the bolts of the transmission housing you guys can see so it might be an issue when we drop it we haven't we're not sure yet until we actually do it and that's what we are right now my dudes oh and we still gotta take off these bolts right here too because these are holding the transmission as well we can drop in and i'll show you guys um the inside the transmission which is pretty cool how an engine works but i'll show you guys that and we put it the new clutch inside and we put everything back on it should be easy the hard part is dropping the transmission. We've been fighting, we've been struggling. It's been hectic. Um, I just wanna show you guys the paint that we did, spray paint, hold off pretty good. Still looking nice, still looking brand new, fresh. Anyways, it's one thing after the other thing. Um, just to get the transmission, we're almost there and then we just realized, no, we gotta take off this to order to push it more back. So we took off this, which you're supposed to, now that we know. So let's take a look under, did take off. What do you call it? The dry line? We took, yeah. that, we took that off. Um, you guys can see. This is where we unbolted it. That metal rail that I just showed you guys, which is that, was all right here. That's just a support, just in case this thing falls. We're taking off the muffler right now, which is the down pipe that goes straight from the headers to down to the muffler. So we're taking off this. That's why we have this unscrewed right now because we are going to take this off in order for us to start slamming the transmission and moving it backwards because it's a bolt after one bolt after one bolt it is bad it is long to do this i can see why mechanics wanted 800 bucks for them to do this but then again all the shops obviously they have it easier because they have the stand-up ones where you just work with your hands up which is make it way easier and then right now we're on the top of the hood because my dad's trying to get the O2 sensor out uh, or whatever wire that's still attached to it because it still does not want to come out in transmission. That's where we're at right now. Um, law of labor, hard work, we're on the floor, we have the heater on. Like I said in the beginning of the vlog, it's cold outside and we're still here trying to fix this clutch. We haven't even got close of seeing the clutch or even taking off the transmission. It's just, like I said, one thing to the other. but. That's mechanic work, you do it yourself, you do it yourself. But if you take it to a shop, you don't know if they put it 
the right one or they got a cheap one or they get a used one or, go, or they go get a junkyard one and they keep the good one for themselves or for a higher end client. You never know. You can't trust shops these days, but that's just trusting people. And if you do it yourself, then you know you did it right and you know what you put inside your car. So you have no one else to blame but yourself. It's the next day. We had to cancel it. It was too much work. We were tired. Next day, here we go. Day two. So, we finally dropped the transmission, my dudes. Uh, that's how far we got. Uh, it took us a long time. It took us some, not that much space to work with. But we finally got it. And I just want to show you guys the inside of the transmission. This is how it looks. Um, we took off this. So, this goes right here. Like so. And then this is the clutch. And then, we, well, obviously we took off the the cable for it. So, this pushes like this like so when i when i engage the clutch and then this is supposed to be all the way down so this comes in and out like this and this is what pushes in the pressure plate and the clutch in order to make the shift that's the old one that we have on right now i don't know how bad it is until we take off um this flywheel then we'll figure out how bad it is hopefully it is bad because hopefully this whole problem of this work is the clutch so that's it and then right there now you guys can see it i'm gonna show you guys really quick see that hole right there yeah so that hole is where my um my shifter was so that's why we had to take it off because also it was connected to the clutch but this is where we're at right now my dudes so now we're gonna compare the old one to the new one who wants to take off everything but i just want to show you guys that this is how the transmission is and this is how it works pretty cool here my dudes it's a flywheel you can see the color is changing from right here to right here to the darker color that's because it is burned so you're supposed to take it to a shop and they're supposed to resurface it since it's sunday and no one can resurface it we're going to try to do it ourselves with the grinder uh, at least at least get one layer or two layers at least try to surface the best we can but technically, you take this to the shop and they'll do it for you. But since everything's closed and we can't wait much longer because we need this car up and running. Uh, my dad said that he's going to try to resurface it. And we're going to try our best. So that's how we can do it. Dale. We have the old one. This is the old clutch, my dudes, and this is the uh, the old pressure plate. Um, you guys can see it's kind of beat out because uh, it's old. It's probably the stock one. Not too sure if it is aftermarket or not, or it's a different one. But this is the clutch. That's the flywheel. And then my dad's over there right now. Uh, that's the new one that we ordered from Flying Miata. So my dad's just cleaning it with brake cleaner. That's what you gotta do: clean it with brake cleaner first to get all the gunk, all the oils, all that stuff off. So that's the old stuff and then the new one is over here the new clutch see so we still have it here we gotta do the same thing with this one um, with the brake cleaner and clean it up a little bit I'm taking little short cuts and not showing you guys the full process of it it's not really like an installation it's just showing you guys more information because it's it's I'm the only camera guy and it's hard to do everything and help my dad at the same time so we have the clutch Ready to go, installed. You guys can look at it, it's pretty. I like that color, but we're never gonna see it again. So right now we're working on the transmission right here, which we're gonna put on, like I showed you guys in the beginning, this right here. So they came with this, this is the new one right here, you guys can see. And then that goes right there, like I said, connects to those forks looking things right there. And every time we press on the clutch, it pushes it. That's why we're gonna fix it. So that goes, this goes exactly on top of those forks right there. And then we'll start, that pushes in the pressuring plate and the clutch. And then we gotta put this bad boy back on. And then everything that we unbolted, bolt back up. So, so long process. We also took out the tire on that side to get more access. That's it's. It's a it's a big mess, but always remember brake cleaner, clean it. I went by so much. Um, I haven't picked up the camera because we've been struggling 
so like so bad um so i'm gonna show you guys what we did so far right now we finally got the transmission we finally got the clutch everything's back on so if you guys can see the transmission's back up back up um we're just trying to put all the bolts in together this wire's still down the dry line's still down we're still working on that we got the muffler um we took off this from right here we still gotta make that tight but from we took off this, the downpipe, we took that off. And right now we're just gonna put all the bolts together. Right now, my dad and I were trying to get the starter um, all bolted down because there's brackets to it that actually holds from the transmission. So we're just where we're at right now, my dude. It's a long process, gain is done. So at the end, I recommend pay someone to do it <laughs> or at least trust a shop that can do it because it's a lot of work in this tiny little car. Got everything from the front situated now. So the starter is in pack. Cross may have been right here, this bar. That's pretty backed on. The exhaust is backed on from the, you guys see we bolted on. So now we're working back here. We just got the dry line attached to the real axle, which is right there. That's all good and done. Only thing that's left is the cross member bar. The, this, this right here, the cross member bar right there that you can barely see. So that, that has to go under the car. That's next. That goes all right here. Starting with that. So it connects all down here. I'll show you guys once we're done. And then we gotta connect um, back to these housing from the plastic. And then that's it, my dudes. Put the tire back on the car. Drop the car off of Jack's. And that'll be it. Hopefully the hopefully the clutch works really good. Um, I won't do a review about it probably like in the next vlog or so when i started driving more or less with it to see how it, how it is this is all talking about my dudes this is the what is it called baby cross the cross membrane membrane Mem Mem cross, cross member cross member so that goes all the way to the back that protects your um dry shaft your um that's it just protects your dry shaft and your transmission a little part of it and it goes all the way down the wire that's hanging that goes right here my dudes so you just gotta put it in and you snap it in just just like so just like that so we gotta do to each one of these that have a hole just put snap just like that and then after that we'll go to the interior put the the shifter, the shifter back in place so the, and then that's it my dudes and spoil the tire sorry the camera's backwards my dudes because i'm laying down all day in the back in the cold this took forever my dudes but we finally got it done so yay so let me put all the wiring now the last time i go back under the car hopefully <sighs> then we're done so here is the last step my dudes is putting the shifter back on um we're gonna take off this cloth and then put it back on this is the for the mirrors so we're gonna put that back on to the i mean the mirrors for the windows we gotta connect that back on and then that's it i actually like how it looks like this but like you know like it feels prettier but it is what it is so i'm gonna put this back on and finally this car should be up and running again it's the next day my dudes i'm cleaning up everything before i head to work i just want to show you guys that this is the the start of it i haven't even turned it on so hopefully everything works i'm so excited to get my car back so Oh shit, I have no clutch. Look at that. Why is it not? Alright, let me just turn it on, see how it goes. And then I gotta fix this ball because it always goes kind of sideways. I gotta fix my whole radio again. Let's see. Whoa, is those gears. What? This clutch? What? This clutch goes so weird. Like the other one was all stiff and hard, but this one just slides right through. It just goes whoop like butter. No way. Alright, I gotta see if it works. So I'm on first gear. The same thing with the other thing. What the? I gotta get this car out of here, my dudes, but it's the exact same thing. My foot was all the way down, and the car was dying. Uh. Alright, let me just put this car out of this garage, because I don't want it inside the garage no more. 
<sighs> There's some bad news, my dudes. We're back to square one. Uh, I thought it was a clutch, but uh, I don't know. It's not. It's not engaging unless we did something wrong, my dad and I. But I think everything is fine. Um, it's not. I have my foot all the way down, and it's not letting me shift out of gear. So I'm thinking it might be the gearbox. Hopefully, it's not the gearbox. It took me a while to pop it in reverse. I didn't want to go in reverse. I don't know because the new clutch. I got to keep pumping it and wear it out. But either way, I'll figure that later. I just got to finish cleaning up the garage. And I got to get ready for work. I still got to take a shower. So this is another issue that I'm going to look into later. Because this is pissing me off that I can't use my car no more. And this is the whole point of my channel is to build this car. And this is postponing me. So um, I'll see you guys in the next one. The link be down below if you guys are curious about buying that clutch. And peace out. Big, big.